Hello guys, welcome back. And in this video, we are going to learn how to find solutions of system of linear equations using Cramer's method. So let's consider two equations and expressing these equations in matrix equation form, which is ax equal to b. We find that the coefficient matrix A is equal to 3, 4, 1 and minus 6. Then the next variable matrix X is equal to X and Y. And then the next matrix is constant matrix denoted by B is equal to 8 and 10. And now this method works only when the determinant of coefficient matrix is non-zero. So in that case, let us find the determinant of A which is equal to AD which is 3 into minus 6 minus of BC which is 1 into 4. So that implies we get here minus 18 minus 4 and by adding we get minus 22. So minus 22 is not equal to 0. So hence we can see that A is a non-singular matrix and Kramer's method is applicable. And now this method avoids finding the inverse of coefficient matrix which is done in matrix inversion method. And here in this method we need to construct two square matrices namely B1 and B2 from the matrix A. So the first matrix B1 is obtained by replacing the first column of A with the elements 8 and 10 of matrix B. So the matrix B1 will be 8, 4, 10 and minus 6. And similarly the next matrix B2 will be equal to and here in this matrix we need to replace the second column of A with the elements 8 and 10 of B. So the matrix would be the first column which is 3, 1 and the next column will be 8 and 10. And now the next step is to obtain the determinant of matrix B1. So the determinant would be AD which is 8 into minus 6 minus of BC which is 10 into 4. So that implies we get here minus 48 minus 40 and here by adding we get minus 88 which is the value of determinant of matrix B1. And now let us find determinant of matrix B2 which would be 3 into 10 which is 30 minus 1 into 8 which is 8. So 30 minus 8 will be 22. And now let us write the solutions for a given set of equation. So the value of x will be equal to determinant of matrix B1 divided by determinant of matrix A. And the value of y will be equal to determinant of matrix B2 divided by determinant of matrix which is denoted by mod A. And now let us find the value of x and the value of y using these both formulas. So by substituting the values, we get minus 88 divided by value of mod A which is minus 22. And here minus in the numerator as well as in the denominator gets cancelled and we get the value of x as 4. And here the value of mod B2 is 22 divided by the value of mod A which is minus 22. And here by simplifying we get minus 1 divided by 1 that is equal to minus 1. So this is the value of y. So therefore the solutions are x equal to 4 and y equal to minus 1. And now let us check whether these values satisfies these equations. So let us go with the second equation. So here the value of x is 4. So we get 4 minus 6 into the value of y which is minus 1 is equated to 10. So that implies we get 4 then minus into minus becomes plus. So we get here plus 6 is equal to 10. So that implies we get 10 equal to 10. So hence we can see that the values x equal to 4 and y equal to 1 are the solutions of these linear equations. And make a note that Kramer's method is also applicable to solve system of linear equations involving more than two variables. Hope you understood the concept. For more videos, visit our website VDH Academy. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.